Hi there, this is Jane and in this video I'm going to talk about how to prepare your pieces for your rock school exam. Okay, in the exam, in any of the exams, you've got to play three pieces. Okay, so if you can break these down, make them easier to learn, it will make it easier to perform in the exam. The first thing you've got to do is actually pick the pieces you're going to play. Now what I tend to do is get the CD, listen to all of the pieces over and over and over and over, even the ones you don't necessarily like to start off with, because you never know your taste might change. You might, at the beginning, decide you really like one tune and absolutely hate another, but the more you listen to them, some might warm to you more than others, okay? And you pick the three that you like the best. It's probably the easiest, because if you like the tunes that you're playing, you're more likely to practice them and practice them well and perform them well in the exam, okay? Now, before you even start to learn them, the best thing to do is just keep listening to all three tunes over and over and over again to the point where you can actually sing along with the track so you know exactly what the tune sounds like in every single section. You can even look at the book while you're playing, okay? While you listen to the track so you can follow along on the tab and you can see exactly what the tab relates to in the music. It will make it an awful lot easier. Now, when I actually come to practicing the pieces, when you first start, you might think, where do I start? A lot of people start at the beginning. Okay, you don't have to start a tune at the beginning. You can break it up into small sections, maybe four bars, eight bars, even less. I tend to try and find the hardest parts to play first. Practice them the most, because they're the bits that need practicing the most. And then the easier stuff, I try later. Now, I've got quite a knack these days of looking at a piece of music and deciding just off looking at it which bits are going to be hard and which bits aren't. Sometimes you can tell just by listening to the tune as well. Okay, so try and find the bits that you think are going to be difficult for you because you know your own strengths and weaknesses. Okay, so try and start with the hard bits first and practice them more. If you start at the beginning and just gradually work your way through to the end, you'll have a brilliant beginning, an all right middle and a fairly weak end. I like to have a fantastic beginning, a fantastic end and hopefully a fantastic middle as well. As long as you start on a high note and end on a high note, it makes it good, okay? So take it nice and slowly. If you can slow it down in your head as you're listening to the tune, to the little sections that you're playing, that will make it easier. If you can't actually slow it down in your own head, get a piece of software maybe for your computer. Some people have um, some hardware that they can use to slow down MP3s and listen to the tune at the speed that you're gonna practice it at, okay? If you can, Try and loop small sections of the tune over and over so you can practice along with them. That's what I like to do. I usually start with a piece at 50% of the full speed, okay? No matter how easy I think it is, okay? I always start nice and slow and build it up slowly. I won't play the whole tune at first. I'll just play little sections of it. Start with the hard pieces, the hard sections in the tune, and then when I get that right, maybe the, the section that's next to it and gradually build it up until I can play the whole thing at half speed. When I can play the full thing at half speed, then I will gradually build the speed up, okay? But I only build the speed up when I can play it well at the speed that I'm playing it at already. So a good thing to be able to do is to actually record what you're playing, if you can record it on your phone or maybe on your computer, so you can listen back to what you're actually playing. Because a lot of the time, I've noticed this with my own students, that they're playing something along with the backing track and they think they're playing it perfectly but they're playing the wrong notes, the rhythm's out. When you're actually playing, it's hard to concentrate on the actual sounds that you're making. So if you can record it and listen back more objectively to what you're actually playing, it will make it easier. You know where you're making the mistakes and you'll know what mistakes you're making and you'll know how to correct them, okay? So record yourself. Play the pieces, slow down, keep it in small sections, okay? Try a little section of one tune, a little section of another, a little section of the other. Don't practice one whole one and then move on to the next and then move on to the next. Because what will happen then is you'll have one of your pieces which is fantastic and then the piece you've been practicing next will be okay and the last piece might be slightly poorer because you've not had as much time on it, okay? So take small sections of each tune every time you practice. Try playing along with the track at a nice slow speed and when you feel comfortable, build the speed up. And try and get yourself to full speed about, about a month to uh, two weeks before the exam. You don't have to worry about playing at full speed all the time, okay? Keeping it nice and steady, listening very carefully to make sure you're playing the right notes and it sounds the same as the actual track, 
okay? When it comes to your improvisation, from grade three onwards, you'll have sections to do improvising, okay? When it comes to this, it's a good idea to well, read the notes that are at the back of each piece. It tells you what scale that you can play to make it easier, okay? Listen to the tune, listen to the solo that they've put in. Don't worry if it sounds complicated because you usually, at the lower grades anyway, don't have to play anything that's too complicated, okay? You can even go onto YouTube, watch other people playing their versions of the tune, it gives you some ideas for what solos to do. I've done that before in the past, okay? And also, a good thing to do is look at the suggested listening. Because usually, in the description of the piece, they give you an idea of where the piece has come from, the bands, the artists, in the style that it's been written for. So go and have a listen to some of those artists. Maybe get some of the tabs for some of their stuff. Have a go. And then you can maybe borrow little bits, reuse them, rehash them, make it into your own solo. Okay? So as long as you remember to take everything slowly, build it up in small little pieces, okay? Make sure you listen to the tunes over and over before you play them. And also make sure you record yourself and listen back to what you're actually playing to make sure it sounds the same or in keeping with the actual track, okay? And as long as you do that, build your speed up slowly, the pieces will sound absolutely fantastic in the exam. Thanks.